All right, sticking with coronavirus and kids, the pandemic has taken a huge toll on their mental health. In fact, from April of last year to April of this year, Children's Hospital did almost 6,000 virtual visits at its behavioral health center. Compare that to only 341 the year prior. WDSU's Morgan Lent is live now with how impacted how COVID impacted two local families. It's a story you only see on six Morgan. Hey Gina, yeah, so we talked to two families who both have children with autism. They say the last few months, the last year even, have been really tough, but the Children's Hospital gave this, them stability they've been desperately searching for. My sports thing got canceled because of COVID. Nick Powell had to deal with a lot of changes last Ooh, year, and for the eight-year-old, it was extra tough because he also has autism. They're trying to help me, not, not just like, put me in here for no good reason. His family has been coming to Children's Behavioral Health Center since 2018. Then in 2020, the pandemic threatened to stall the progress they'd made, but hospital staff reacted, offering remote therapy sessions right away. It made us rethink how we um, take care of children. That connection, that ability to touch base, uh, really in some cases has been life saving. It was a disaster. <laughs> it was out of control. That's true for the Broussard family who say their 10 year old daughter was violent and until she was diagnosed with autism, they felt helpless. We're just now learning how to to deal with it and how to how to work with her, you know, so there the Children's Hospital was was a lifesaver for us. From April 2020 to April 2021, the Behavioral Health Center conducted almost 6,000 virtual visits. It's another reminder that the pandemic impacted us all. And it's the smallest little change that you don't realize really could lead to something big. And so it is important that, you know, I think that communication between parent and therapist, as well as, yeah, just that kind of parent parental intuition. And that is the advice from doctors. They say if you, they, if you notice a change in your child and are concerned, you should seek the advice of a medical professional. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.